while I'm in Luling, I'm going to try and burn through some of these wonderful products that friends have sent me to review or that I've purchased to review. And today we're going to start with the Createology Kids Art Set. It has a hundred pieces and I pay $2.97 for this wonderful, wonderful set of art supplies. So let's take a look at what this artist set for ages six and up has to offer. Inside, you'll find, keep in mind, $2.97 for all of this, you will find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wonderful markers in such lovely colors as very much fluorescent highlighter yellow, sky blue, death of dreams brown. These feature, whoa, posting ventilated caps in, in case you decide you want to chew one of these. There is also some half size color pencils, some wax based crayons, some watercolors with a brush that comes with the ever ubiquitous plastic splayed blunt cut bristles. And the watercolor set is removable. And oh, look guys, it comes with a palette on top of it. With the tiniest wells I've ever seen. It also comes with a pencil sharpener. A really tiny pad of paper and some pastels that I can't decide if they're just the wax crayons in a different format, if they are meant to be oil pastels or if they're meant to be hard pastels. This is great. I bet you guys can't wait to see me get started with this. All right, guys, so we're taking a look at this Creatology box. It has a snap front and it's made from fairly flimsy plastic, but what do you expect for $2.97? Inside we've got loads and loads of supplies. This would be a perfect gift to send to any artist who you want to torture, or to a kid who you don't particularly like. I mean, at $2.97 you can send them to all the kids you don't particularly like. I taught at an inner city school where, um, seriously this is like the best that they had and it wasn't even this good it was like everything in it by the time those kids got these sets was just ruined and it was really really hard for them to make anything with sets like this so in all seriousness although I have a really jovial tone in my voice these kind of sets are really not a good pick for kids they are very inexpensive and that's fine and you may be thinking it's great because your kid's gonna wreck it and it doesn't matter, but they are hard to use, they're frustrating to use. Um, so if you want to inspire your kid to pursue arts, to become an artist, this is not really the best kit to get them. It might be fine for like vacation or something, or it might be fine if you plan on transforming this kit in some way, but this is not a good, this is not a good gift if you actually wanna encourage your kids to go into art. So we're gonna take a look at these markers first. And I am swatching on Canson Biggie XL watercolor paper. And as I mentioned, I am let out of town. So we're gonna start with these weird tiny markers. And the colors in this video are gonna be really weird and all wrong because I am in a house that doesn't necessarily have great lighting. So um, you may wanna double check these colors against the blog post that's going to be coming up. And I'd actually bought a set like this as part of the Burn It Box uh, seasonal challenge that myself and three other artists are participating in. And my camera keeps trying to unfocus. So these bullet nibs are not the worst bullet nibs I've ever used, 
but I can already tell that these little markers have a lot of glycerin in them because the colors are kind of faded out with the exception of that blue. I mean, my camera is actually accommodating for the lighting, so it makes the colors look more brilliant than they are. But the colors themselves are really not very good. Not a lot of saturation to them. And this video is going to be released after my friend who's getting the Burn It box completes her Burn It box. So you should totally check out Leanna's video or whatever Leanna chooses to do with it. I'm hoping it's a video, but it could be a blog post, which would be cool too. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating. We haven't actually discussed what format everyone's going to release everything in. So I have a brush. It's actually a nice brush and a glass of clean water. And I'm going to test to see how water soluble these are in case these can live another life as maybe watercolor pencils. And they are, don't know if you guys can see, not very water soluble at all. If you guys are looking for some inexpensive kid or very young student grade watercolor pencils, I had, I mean watercolor markers, I actually find that Crayola Super Tips work quite well for that purpose. Okay, so some of the colors move, but they just, there is, you could not call this a watercolor effect. You could not really claim that these could be used as watercolor pencils. So we're going to take a look next at the color pencils that came in this kit. All right, so this is one of the little half color pencils that came in that Creatology kit. And it is a pretty hard, waxy color pencil, not too many redeeming qualities. And I have viewed a number of um, kids art sets, kids art supplies in my affordable art supply uh, series that was over on the blog. So I'm pretty familiar with kids grade art supplies and I mean these were $2.98 so I can definitely vouch that they would be on the lower end of the spectrum even on a good day but they're really pretty crummy they're very hard you get a lot of flaking well you can barely see it given my unfortunate camera setup there isn't much pigment in them it's a lot of wax so I can only imagine how frustrating it would be trying to color in a full set I'm sorry, full illustration with these. And there are 12 colors um, with two, two pinks, um, which is kind of, in my opinion, a little unusual um, because there aren't really a lot of browns. Uh, there is one brown and it's really more of like a yellow orc ochre sort of color, kind of yellow ochre-y. Um, so not really a true brown. All right, we're gonna take a look at those crayons next. Okay guys, next we're gonna take a look at these wonderful crayons and I'm gonna go ahead and skip the white crayons since we're working on white paper. And while these are a little bit better than the color pencils included, they come in almost the same colors and they are very waxy and not particularly pigmented. And they even included a unlabeled, but clearly a type of skin tone, although it's so waxy, it would end up smearing the other colors you put on the paper. Purple's not bad, actually. Okay, got a breakage already. And I'm sure there's a couple of you who were like, Becca, you knew this was bad. It's two dollars and ninety something cents bad. You, this could not be good. It's a hundred pieces. What were you expecting? Well, you know, every now and then I enjoy uh, <laughs> punishing myself with supplies I know are not going to be very good. 
keeps you humble, reminds you of what other people are going to be working with. So that's why I picked up this set. Plus, I figured if I'm sending this to my friend Leanna for her to have to deal with, I should at least have struggled with it as well. And as mentioned, it comes with that sort of brush. You can just go ahead and toss that in the garbage because that's about what it's worth. Now we're gonna take a look at these, uh, I almost said pan, but really they're like little cakes. So let's try to give these the best start they can. Let's apply a droplet of water into each indentation and see if we can't give these a head start. And there are 24 little cakes. And what should we use for... It really isn't anything good to use to test the white because it's going to cause a resist. So let's use some pencil. And I'll zoom in some more. I'm really scrubbing the pan to try and pick up some pigment. And it's pretty much like if you've ever done sidewalk art as an adult, one of the techniques you can use is you can basically make chalk paint with water and ground up chalk. And this is, I have a feeling this is actually ground up chalk now that I mention that because it handles a lot. And if you're gonna paint with that sort of chalk paint, you really wanna use a brush that has um, a lot of stiffness in the bristles. So um, brushes for acrylic or even brushes for house painting, depending, might be good choices for that. And it seems like that might be the case with this as well. I mean, these are, these are pretty terrible. Last year, when I was doing the Affordable Art Supply Challenge, uh, in the Walmart section, I had picked up a set of, a little set of watercolors by this brand, Alex, and those were pretty terrible and chalky, and these might be even worse. That purple's pretty good. That's like the first good color I've encountered so far. Maybe these just take a little longer to activate. Now, I know some of you guys might be thinking, well, Beck, uh, People use those Artist Loft watercolors all the time and they do really great stuff with it. The reason I advise you not to um, give these to an, let's say an older child, a kid from seven to 12. So you really wouldn't want to give the kid at that age professional grade art supplies. You know, they tend to be toxic, they're expensive. Um, the kid's gonna be experimenting and going through a lot of supplies. So you really don't want to make a huge investment. The reason you don't want to give a kid of that age these sort of supplies is because they're so awful, you're not going to be able to accomplish a whole lot of anything. And if the kid is actually serious about enjoying art, it may just turn them off because the results are always going to be so far from their imagination that they may think it's a lack of ability rather than the materials just being pretty crummy. And an adult can see that these are, you know, $3 for 100 art supplies and sort of uh, lower their expectations accordingly. But a kid may not have enough life experience to really be savvy with that. I don't know. I mean, I've definitely met some very intelligent, precocious children. I just hate for anyone to um, have be discouraged or think that they're any less because the materials they're working with were poor materials. So yeah, these are not wanting to activate despite me scrubbing them. And I'm pretty sure it's because I'm using a Kalinsky sable brush, which is very, very soft bristles. So it's just not strong enough to scrape up the chalk used in these. And see, some paint companies, some supply manufacturers will add like talc to help add opacity to their colors, which makes the colors seem more saturated and more vibrant. 
but really it's just making them chalky and hard to use, which is the case for these. And these are gonna need to dry before I can pick up the case and put them away. And it did come with a clear plastic palette from mixing, which I actually thought wasn't the worst, was, was pretty decent considering this set. All right, so now we're on to these little unlabeled sticks, which smell just like crayons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are crayons pretending to be pastels and that's why they're unlabeled. And they sure handle like crayons. I mean, you could even use the tiny plastic pencil sharpener and sharpen this into, you know, the point that a crayon has when it's brand new if you want it. Oh, wow. That pink is even worse in faux pastel form. And it has fewer colors than the crayons did too. So that leaves us with only two materials of the promised 100 that we have not yet tested. And one of them I will test and the other one I won't. This very floppy pedet of paper. So let's zoom way in on that. And I'm just gonna try a couple of things. Oh yeah. Awesome. Shredded the paper. Now this is gonna be too floppy. It doesn't have a chipboard back, it's just plain paper. It's gonna be really kinda too floppy for color pencils, but I'm still gonna try. And there's just no texture to that paper. It's like receipt paper, basically. actually handles okay on it because it gives a very smooth coverage and the crayon's softer than the color pencil. Let's go ahead and torture ourselves a little bit with the watercolor. Maybe we'll get some more vibrant colors now that the water's really had a chance to soak in. This isn't even good for making like digital watercolor assets because you can do that with the Crayola washable cakes and those things are pretty terrible too. And these are even worse. And on this paper, it's just, wow. I'm sure you can take my word for it. Look how milky the water is. That's from all that either talc or chalk or there's some white extender in there. And we'll finish off with these crayons pretending to be pastels. So that was the field test for the Michaels Creatology 100 piece. I think they're counting this as the one of the pieces too. 100 piece kids art set. Ensemble de material de art pour enfants. I hope you guys were at least entertained and I will see you guys when we do the field test. <laughs>